Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to do a quick rundown in trying to explain how the password reset f workflow happens. So whenever you're on a website or on a mobile application and you click forgot password and you go through that entire process where it sends you an email, you click on the link, it takes you to a page, you reset your password and everything is fine from there so i'm just going to try and explain how this workflow um, happens and everything that happens behind the scenes so let's dive right into that this is going to be a theoretical part of this um topic i will be creating a node api where i implement everything i've explained here after this video so let's get started okay so the main um Entities you can say that takes part in this um, transaction is the client obviously when the client makes a request um, That he forgot his password then the node application the node API um, has a route that is hit to um, Start this process and then saving a few things in the database So let's start down here So first off what is going to happen is we're going to start off with our um, login form where you have to insert your email or password and then you click on this I forgot my password link and once you've clicked on that um, link it would take you to this page over here where it would ask you please provide an email obviously this is not um, this is just for demonstration purposes but you'll explain to the person somewhere in like small text that uh, please provide an email that you're using for um, this account and then we'll send you a reset password email Then uh, you would type in your email you want the password to be reset for and press send and wh When you press the send button It would make a request to your API endpoint and this API endpoint will be doing the following things so from this um, form over here we send in the body this email that was typed in and we send this email to uh, endpoint so this can be arbitrary you can have this your domain name I'm just using everything localhost to just explain the concept so here you will make a request to the HTTP localhost 5000 slash API slash auth and then the forgot password route and whatever this logic in this route will do is explained down here so First off, we will check that the email address exists in the database. So this email that was sent to us from the user, we first have to check, does this user actually exist in our database? If it, this user does not exist, you immediately stop the process from here because you don't want a user that's not registered to receive an email for reset password. Okay, so once you've confirmed that this user exists in the database, we go down to create a random string token. So um, you would use in Node.js, we use a package called crypto and random bytes. And then we just um, create a random string, let's say of 20 um, characters. And then the next thing we do is we hash this token we just created up here. So we create like this public and primary, uh, public and private key effect. So the public key is this token that is not hashed and then the hash token is the private key and this hash token we will save under that specific user so the user with this email that we found we will save that hash token under his collection and we'll name that say reset password token and then once we've done hash hashing the token we set an expiration date on this token so we say okay this token is only valid for 10 minutes then after that it's not valid anymore so you do your date calculations and then you save another entry under that same user that says token will expire in say 10 minutes or you set the date or time when it will expire then what we'll do is we generate a reset url link using that token so the one up here not the hashed one the the public one so we're going to send this public one in this reset url link and this url link will look something like like down here 
we have HTTP localhost 3000. So this will take us to the front end to our, this is in blue. So you can see this is our client. This will redirect us to our client page reset password. And in our URL, we will add that token we created up there. So once we created this reset URL um, with the token, we can send an email to our user. And I'll show you how to do email sending as well. And then you'll send this link up here to the user. This user will then just click on this link and it would take him to him or her to this page of your application, the reset password page. Then you have your new password and the confirm the new password type of effect. You can validate this in your front end. And once you click reset, what is going to happen now is we will generate um, the URL that we send to our backend. So what I mean by that is we got this token from um, this URL over here. So in the front end, we have access to that URL token. Then we'll pass that token into the backend route. So we'll make, if we press reset, it would make a request to HTTP localhost 5000 slash API slash auth and then the reset password route with that specific token. So the, the public token gets carried all the way from when it was first created to the front end and all the way back to the, to the um, back end. So it makes like this loop. And once we hit this route, we'll be sending in the body, obviously, the new password. And what we'll do here is the following things. We're going to pull the token from the URL. So we're going to get this token from the URL on the back end. And then we're going to hash that token. So this one we got up here. So the public token, we're going to hash that again, the same way you hashed it up here when we hash the token. So here we're going to hash that token again and search for the hash token in the user collections. So now we go back to our database and search for a user that has this exact same hashed um, token that we just created. And if we find that user, we must ensure that the expiration date that we set has not yet expired. So if you set the token expiration date for, let's say, 10 minutes, we should ensure that 10 min minutes has not gone by and now the user all of a sudden um, is trying to reset his password with that link again. So that token will basically ex expire. And if this fails, then um, we can't update. And if both of these succeed, so we ensure that the user with that hash exists in our database, and then we compare the hashes, and then we compare that the expiration date is not um, invalid, then finally we can update our password. So now we can go back to the login page and, and log in with our new password. So I hope this explanation made sense. So I'm going to go over it once again, just much more um, quicker. So we'll start off, because I'm just going to start off with the colors. So the client, everything that's blue is the client side. Everything that's orange is the, the API side, and everything that's green is the database side. So we'll start off with our application here. We want to make log into our account and then it tells us invalid credentials and we're like oh damn I forgot my password so you click on forgot password it will then route you to this page where it would ask you for the email address you used in your account so you would enter that email address and then you would say send email and then it would go to the back end so this send email will make a request to a back end route in our API forgot password and here we will check that the email that was sent from the client is something that is matched in our database. So we want to check basically if this user actually exists in our database. And once we confirm that this user exists, we create a random token string or a, a, a random string token. And then we take this token that we created and we hash this token. And we save that hash token inside of our database under this specific user. Then we'll create an expiration date for this token and save that under the user as well. The next step is creating a reset URL that we will email to our user. And then the user will receive this with an email you can set up nicely with this URL 
link. And this URL link can then be clicked and the user will be redirected to this page, the reset password page for your application. And in here you can check that the new passwords and uh, the new password matches. So you just check that the user is um, typing the correct password. And once you press on the reset password, it would make a new request to our backend for the reset password route. And then in that route, we get uh, uh, the token that was sent all the way from here. So the token that was added to the reset URL, we send that exact same token to our backend in the route as well. Then we'll pull that token out of our URL and hash it the same way we hashed it previously. And then we'll search by this hashed token in our database for a user that contains this hashed password, this hashed, hashed token. And once we found that user, we will then ensure that the token has not yet um, exceeded its expiration date. And then finally, we're able to go back to our login screen as the client. And then, so over here, we should actually finally update the password. Yeah, that's actually correct. Finally update the password. And then down here, the user can go back to the login form and continue with its new, with, with their new password. So I hope you found this video insightful. And if you did, please remember to like, and I will be creating this in a Node.js application um, in the next video. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.